Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. What can be done today to create a better way of life? We can end hunger, homelessness, and violence. Acts of kindness, compassion, and teamwork bring us together and keep our community safe. Every day at Gate City Bank, we're building a better tomorrow and a better way of life. Yeah, no, he's, uh, like I said, he's a competitive guy on the ice and even playing ping pong. Uh, he's probably one of the top three players that we have here in ping pong. It's due to his competitive nature. And, you know, I know he's hurting a little bit inside with the NFL being a New York Jets fan and he wants – he wants them to win desperately too. So uh, you can tell that he's a competitive young man. Shane Pinto is a fiery competitor, and he attributes that part of his nature to his upbringing. Growing up, I was always competing against my sister and um, also my dad. I think, you know, me and my dad played a lot of video games together. He always used to beat me, and I always got fired up through stuff whenever he beat me. Um, also with my sister, she was always the better athlete, and, you know, she was faster than me, stronger than me. so. I always had that little bit of edge where I just wanted to beat her and everything. I think that's, you know, that hasn't stopped, you know, even in ping pong, I always want to, I always want to win, but yeah, I think that competitiveness just came from kind of my family nature. And the communication he brings into the face-off circle is a key component of the dynamic he has with his teammates. He's always just calling out the play, like what we're going to be doing. And like, if someone doesn't know what to do, then they can just ask him and to let you know what to do on the draw. It's led to a lot of success in the offensive zone. We all obviously have all our set plays, and um, I think it's extremely important to communicate with Shane before the draw just because um, he's the best center in the nation. Um, so I think uh, there's a good chance we're going to be able to execute that face off and, and hopefully get a good scoring chance out of it. So we got to make sure we call off that play and be ready. I think that's a big deal, you know, when you see him talk to Reese Gaber and Brandon Booty, Griffin Ness, even the defensemen, you know, uh, Jake Sanderson, Tyler Clevin, Cooper Moore, those type of guys that are first year players. Uh, and again, it was a few months ago he was at, and now he's trying to help those guys. I think that's great. That's how you add to the tradition and, and have sustainability of success on, on uh, you know, giving past the experiences and stories about how to, uh, you know, be part of North, the North Dakota culture here. Off the ice, the bond he has formed with his class is something he aims to carry forward beyond UND. Well, actually, we were, you know, freshmen, so, you know, you kind of, you don't know too much about the guy, but as you uh, kind of live life with them each and every day and go through the same experiences, you know, you become best friends, and, you know, I consider them all my, well, a couple of my closest friends, so. Yeah, it's been awesome. Our class is really tight knit. We got, uh, we five great guys and we're all just like brothers. Over the last two years we've really bonded together and had a lot of good memories together and just can't wait for many more to come. At the end of the day, family is what drives him in a virtual and non-virtual sense. I think my family, um, you know, really motivates me, you know, to see how our day work every day to just, you know, just support me and my sister. Um, you know, I think that's probably the main motivator is just trying to, you know, keeping them proud and, you know, just proving them right. I know they're such big supporters, so I just want to keep proving them right. I try not to pay attention to, you know, Twitter too much during the season because it could be a little negative place if you're losing. But um, to see him on there, you know, 
always supporting me. Um, you know, he obviously means a ton to me too. I think, you know, just just like my mom, he's done so much for me. Uh, he's actually coming this weekend to hopefully to see a Penrose clinch. You know, knock on wood. But I'm excited to see him in the next couple of days. Something I've really enjoyed and uh, really tried to kind of take in as we've went along here. I think um, just getting to to watch him every day um, on and off the ice has, has been pretty special and um, the way he carries himself and, and just presents himself obviously um, what he does out on the ice speaks for himself but um, yeah like I've said before he's just a true pro and um, he's gonna he has a bright future ahead. week and you know we, we split with them uh, this year so far and we split with them both times last year so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be another battle and uh, yeah, we got to get ready for that and um, you know take care of business and keep putting ourselves in a good spot for the Penrose Penrose Rosa.